Hey, it's Wes from Printful. Creating designs for your products can take a lot of time when you're starting off your print-on-demand business. You need to find free graphic editing software and know how to use it, so that way you can bring your ideas to life. To save you all the trouble, we have a special tool available that'll help you create designs right away. Our mock-up generator is free and is constantly updated with new clip art and sample graphics. It's incredibly easy to use and it lets you combine available elements into a high-quality design for t-shirts and other products. For this video, I've teamed up with one of our designers to show you just that. Hi, my name is Cindy and I'm a senior designer here at Printful. In this video, you'll learn how to create fun and unique designs by combining multiple elements in our Printful mockup generator. We'll be covering a lot of topics related to printing along the way, so stick around until the end of the video. If you want to learn more about designing and selling your products online, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Let's begin! I'll enter the mockup generator from the Printful homepage by clicking here. I want the colors of my design to pop, so a 100% cotton t-shirt will be best for this. I'll choose Bella Canvas 3001 and leave it in plain white. Remember that in DTG printing, the t-shirt type and color play a very important role on how your design looks on a finished product. Printed colors will always look a bit duller or darker from what they looked like on a screen, simply because the screen is backlit while the product is not. I'll start by creating a background layer. I'll click on Drop your design and select Sample Files. Most of the graphics used in our recent product videos can be found here. They are separated into two types, Print File and Embroidery, for easier navigation. All the embroidery sample files are already digitized. If you don't change or add to the design, you won't get charged the digitization fee when you use the file in an order. I'll choose the zebra pattern print file for our design. I'll start by scaling it up until it takes the shape of a square. Pay attention to the left side of the screen. As I'm scaling the file, the DPI changes. If your graphic is below 150 DPI, it will be considered low quality and will come out blurry. This is something you should always avoid. When you're working in the mockup generator, I suggest always keeping the safety grid on. You can switch it off here for a better preview of your design. Next, I'll add some text by clicking here. I'll change the color and select a different typeface. We have a wide range of typefaces available that you can incorporate in your design, and they're suitable for embroidery as well. I'm going to scale the text layer up by dragging it here in the preview window. I can also zoom in to have better control of the graphic. Alternatively, you can adjust the text size along with the letter spacing and rotation in these windows located here. Once all the adjustments are finished, I'll press See All Design Layers and return to the default layout, where I can see all the design elements that I have added so far. As you can see, the background is very dynamic and overpowers the text. That's why we'll be adding a background shape layer for the text to stand out. I'll adjust the background zebra layer and then go to the clip art section, Shapes and Symbols, to select the horizontal rectangle shape. Now I'll scale it up so that it becomes the same size as the text, and then drag the shape layer under it. Next, I'll rotate it counterclockwise. I can do that directly in the preview or in the layer section, located here. I want the shape layer to cross the background layer diagonally without leaving any space near the corners of the safe print area. To fix that, I'll scale it up and zoom in to ensure that it is lined up with the top of the zebra layer. To make the zoomed-in working area even larger, press Ctrl+. Once that's done, I'll adjust the positioning of the text layer. If you want your layer or design to be perfectly aligned vertically or horizontally, make sure to use the Align buttons located here. Lastly, I'll add another text layer. I'll change its color and typeface. We have a very thick and blocky font at the back, so a nice thin typeface at the front will provide a good contrast. Next, I need to match its rotation with a rectangle shape layer. For ideal diagonal alignment between the two elements, we'll copy the rotation value of the shape layer and paste it in the text layer. After a few adjustments, we're done with the front design. I have the option to either order the products or I can press Generate Files to create mockups. I'll do just that, but I'm going to choose only the print file and press Generate Files, Save to Library. 
Now I can save this design to any of my e-commerce stores that are connected with Printful. It's important to know that once you save your design, all the layers are merged together into a single file. So make sure you make all the necessary adjustments before saving and going through this step. This feature is especially useful if you want to print your design on more than one product. Let's say I want this design to be on a mug. For this example, I'll choose a magic mug and place the graphic that we've just created. The selected design will get placed in the very center. But for this example, I want to have it on both sides. The easiest way to do this is to position the design on any of the sides and then press on this checkbox below. This will duplicate the image on both sides and save you some extra time. Go ahead and see what you can achieve using the tools available in our generator. If you're looking for something more complex, feel free to reach out to our design team and submit a request. Thank you, Cynthia, for that demonstration. We always recommend ordering color swatches to help you decide which RGB values best compare to the desired results you want when you print out your physical product. In fact, many of our clients have gone through the process of color correcting their own designs and have found a real practical use for our color swatches. I was expecting my designs on the screen to show up the way they do on the screen on your shirt. And sometimes they do, but then I realized that color correction is actually one of the most important things that I would highly recommend to anybody in general who's doing you know, shirt design or product design. It's such a big thing. Um, and Printful actually is really helpful about, you can make these swatch sample shirts that just have a bunch of different colors on there with the RGB values on them. So you can actually go into your design. This is what I ended up doing for my hypercolor thing. And you can change your color to be like, okay, this is how I want it to show up on a white shirt. And this is how I want it to show up on a dark shirt. After that was done, I had more confidence in my product. With all that said, let's take a look at how the design has come out. The outcome is the same as the print file. The bright red that was used for the main font stands out and attracts attention as expected. You might have noticed that it's among other colors in the mock-up generator for the clip art and text graphics. That color palette consists of the most commonly used colors that are safe to print on any DTG product. Because our print file was within acceptable DPI limits, we clearly see the sharpness of all the details in the design. Whenever you plan to add a new product to your store, order a sample for yourself first. This way, you'll know what your customer receives and you can make any adjustments if necessary. Do you wanna see a video on creating designs for other types of products? If so, let us know in the comments below. Hey there, it's Wes from Printful. I hope you liked that video. Leave us a comment below on what video you'd like for us to make. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so that way you always get a notification when we have a new video.